Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are going to be building a submarine for my submarine building challenge thingamabobby. Uh, it's actually going to be a submarine, which is a tanker, that can carry at least 100,000 litres of liquid. Uh, it doesn't have to be fuel, could just be water, etc, etc. Anyway, uh, we're going to be building that right here, which is the same place where we actually built the scrub marine. Now, if you guys have never seen that series, I'll link the playlist down below, and you guys can, uh, I don't know, have a little, uh, have a little look at that. Um, we ended up building something pretty weird. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start building this thing, and hopefully, it'll end up looking quite cool. Okay, so literally the first thing we actually want to build is some sort of fuel tank, because that is essentially what we need. Um, we need a massive, massive, massive tank uh, that could carry 100,000 litres of fuel. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make it uh, this kind of shape right here. And essentially, we're just going to drop this down here. We're going to whack this open sideways. Whoa. Okay, just go out like a few. I don't know. I kind of want it to be sort of symmetrical as well, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so if we go out one, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, I hate doing this. All right, do, just do this all the way to the side, to where this one is. All right, about there. One, two. Oh god, I can't see because these things are on my screen. Ah, I can't even remember how you get rid of them. Rotation labels. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, so we need to delete one off each side, and that should be good. Alright, go ahead and whack this in. Whee! There we go, all the way up to there, awesome. Go ahead and close off the top, yes! And we need to close off the, the front and the back as well. Uh, and we need to see how much this actually holds. So, go ahead and put a dial on the top. Ba ba bum. A dial. Alright, just needs to get whacked in right there, that's good. And then we need a fluid meter, which is somewhere in here, and that needs to go in like this. There we go. Easy peasy. So, the capacity goes straight to there. Go ahead and have a little look, see what this is. And if it's anywhere near 100, we're doing pretty good. If I can jump onto this thing. I think that said 60. Yeah, 62,000. So it needs to be quite a bit longer. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do any maths on this thing. Uh, we're not going to do any maths at all. Sorry, math if you're American. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Alright, grab that, grab this, go all the way down, and we're obviously going to grab this. There we go. We're then going to take it backwards, quite a chunk. Alright, quite the chunk. That's good. We need to go down all the way to the bottom. Okay, and we need all the way at the top as well. We're going to go ahead and copy this piece. Uh, we're going to actually cut it, move it this way a bit. There we go. Alright, move it back. We need to fill in this little area right here. There we go, paste that there. Merge all of these together, awesome, and then delete all of these bars in the middle, because I, I forgot that I'd <laughs> I forgot that I'd copied that bit, but this is longer now. So now we just spawn it in again, and we'll check. Is it a hundred thousand? Let's uh let's see. Here we go. Oh, we're not quite on the top. What did that say? Eighty-four thousand. A little bit longer. All right, there we go. This one is actually a hundred and six thousand. So uh, that's actually pretty good. That is. That is what we've got a haul. Now, if we actually fill this up with fluid, you'll see our... Well, I guess it's going to be a bit of an issue. So, let's delete this real quick. Go ahead and grab ourselves a fluid spawner. And if we shove this on the inside, you'll see our problem. Here we go. Bush! <laughs> there we go. So, essentially, we need to make that float. Now, that is going to be sort of difficult, I suppose. Uh, but at the same time, I think we'll be able to make this work. Okay, so if we go ahead and find the middle section of this piece, so we go down from there, which is the center, we go across from here, which, is that the center? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's the center right there. All right, good. So we actually extend this out, that's okay. We want to extend this out the side about five, there we go. Extend it out the top about five as well. One, two, three, four, five, good. And then out the bottom five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. So that's how wide we're going to be. Let's go ahead and do this. So it's actually six, essentially. But uh, we're going to do this all the way to the back, right there. Okay. I haven't really planned this out, by the way. Uh, just to let everybody know. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to look like. I have literally no idea. 
Um, but we're going to try and make it look good. So that's our target in the end. Um, so yeah, hopefully this looks pretty good in the end. Anyway, go ahead and drag this all the way back to there. Awesome. And now essentially, I just want to attach all of these together. Okay, so I'm actually thinking we start with a 4x1. Alright, we're actually going to do just one. Here we go. Go ahead and drag that upwards so we can see how this goes. Uh, in fact, do another one. There we go. And then I think we're going to go with a 2 and then a 1. Okay, so a 2 and then a 1 if I can. In fact, actually, wait. What if we start from here too? I want it to be sort of symmetrical. Almost all the way around. If I do it like that, it's going to look a bit weird, I suppose. Yeah, that's going to be too boxy, I think. That doesn't look too good. So we'll delete these. We'll delete these. And we'll replace those with twos. Here we go. With this piece. Should round it off a little bit better. And essentially, that's a good thing. There we go. Bosh that on there. Bosh that on there. And then, and then this piece down to there. There we go. That's really round. That's really good, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in all the way at the back. We're going to do it on the bottom as well. And then I'll be back with you. Okay, so there we go. That's the full section on the top done right there. So now we just essentially need to grab the whole top piece. And uh, we need to then put it on the bottom because that's kind of how this is going to go. It's going to be very symmetrical. At least the main section is. We are going to change it slightly though. So uh, be careful of what we're going to do next. Um, but essentially, we're going to try and make it look a little bit like a boat on the top, I think. So if we go ahead and we copy this, flip it upside down, take it to the bottom. Uh, there, like that. Bring it forward slightly and... Oh, <laughs> I managed to miss a section. All right, that's good though. There we go. So, um, this should be empty still. That's all good. Uh, this piece right here, we just need to collapse. Sorry, finish the rest of this piece. Because uh, otherwise, it's not going to look too good if it's not finished. There we go. And there we go. All right, yeah. Not bad at all. There we go. Nice. So that's the back piece done. The front piece is also very similar. Uh, I don't know why we've ended up with this. But we'll delete that for now. Delete these pieces. Go ahead and whack that in there. Fill that in. Good. Okay, so. We've now got a massive shell on our um, tanker submarine. So that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, now, we need to somehow put like a rounded nose on this thing. I'm not too sure how this is going to go. And I'm not very good at actually building these things. But I'm going to try and do this. Uh, so that we actually end up flattening it, flattening it out. So we're going to start with this. Which has to drop to there. Then we have to go to a one, like one of these. Here we go. Which goes right there. Okay. Then we have to go to the one buys. So one of these. On pretty much all of these pieces. Hold on. Like this. All the way down to there. And then we need to continue with these pieces again. That's fine though. Because we can definitely do that. Whammo. Whack that in there. Good. So that's going to continue bending round and down. And then hopefully it'll come to a point right here. Or a little bit further forwards. It doesn't really matter if it's forwards either. So that's good. Alright. Cool. So essentially we just grab this piece. And we put it right there. Drag it upwards. Awesome. Go ahead and grab this piece, put it right there, flip it, oh god, yep, put it right there, drag it upwards, and whammo, yeah, this is going to be good. So that's going to fold all the way around to the front, and we're going to have a really nice front end, awesome. Ooh, actually, before I finish doing this, I have added another, another row, by the way, I've added another row, but that's okay. Before we finish doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a pink block, like this one, we're going to fill in all of these sections right here... Yes, uh, and the main reasoning for this is we need to make sure there's no gaps in that um, We need to make sure that we've actually got enough displacement. I think that's the right word anyway um, But we, we essentially we need to make sure that the ballast tanks are going to be big enough uh, to allow us to surface So if we go ahead and we do this there we go like that we need to um, I guess we'll make it under the water. That's fine. Do this. All right. We need to get ourselves a fluid meter Ba -ba 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 -bum. Right, like the, like one of these. There we go. Whack that in there. We then need a dial so that we can essentially just see how much we've actually got in there. There we go. Um, which is good. That's a good idea because otherwise we have no idea. Um, there we go. Spawn that in. And we kind of want this to be more. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. It totally floats while it's full. Haha, <laughs> yes. That is epic. 
All right, how much does that have? So that's got 300. That's more than double. That's perfect. That's very, very nice. So essentially, our ballast tanks will be able to uh, let us sink and actually float while our fuel tank of our cargo is actually full. Now you might be thinking, that looks a little bit small. However, there is a little bit of an issue with this. We need to also have some engines, which will probably go in this section right here. We then need a fuel tank to power those engines. We're not allowed to use the cargo area as our fuel. So, um, as long as we know that, everything's okay. But, uh, I've got to delete all of this now. Which is kind of annoying. But, um, yeah. Yeah, this is good. It works. Okay, so this is actually what we've got so far. I actually think this is starting to look pretty good. It is actually starting to look pretty good, which is actually awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach those like that. That's good. Uh, that does mean that these pieces now need to be ones. Oh god, this is not really something I enjoy doing, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but it is something that we kind of have to do to make this thing look look the part. So essentially, this is going to have a pretty flat front. Um, but it should look okay. Also, we could totally use this area for something. If we wanted to. I don't know what, but we could. Alright, so uh, this I don't really like. Okay, we've got a flat front. Like a very, very flat front. Uh, then essentially, we're going to have something like this. Uh, because it is going to have to be kind of boxy. Which is, I guess, a little bit annoying. Uh, but it does look, it looks, it looks okay. Uh, so we are going to keep it like this. Uh, but this isn't the main design of the boat itself anyway. So uh, people probably won't focus too much on this section. Which is uh, a good thing because it looks kind of ugly. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and copy this. Put it on the bottom and then hopefully it'll look quite cool. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what to do with this area right here. Obviously it's just a big square. But like, how do I fix that? Technically, it's not a square either. But anyway, um, this I, I don't like. Uh, what we could... Act oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, does this work? If I just grab... Where is it? One of these? If I grab one of these, obviously, then it's not even going to be that pointy. Hey, there we go. That works. That totally works. All right, whack that right there. Then we're going to just put that piece in the middle. We're going to then whack these pieces in right here. And that piece on right there. And this piece right here. And voila, there we go. It's not so boxy on the front anymore. And that is, that's awesome. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, so I think what we're going to do on the back is we're going to grab this long section right here. This piece all the way up to this piece, which is just two pieces actually. Uh, but we're going to take that section. We're then going to extend it so it looks longer than the, than the front. Uh, and we're going to whack that on the back. And then hopefully we can fit our engines and things. I wonder if we can fit our engines beside in the ballast tanks. Because the ballast tanks are already big enough, so I think in theory we could just put our engines here and then limit how long this thing is. That's not a bad idea. However, because it is so fat, I kind of feel like the longer it is, the better it'll look. But never mind, it's fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab this piece right here, all the way up to there. Go ahead and copy it, turn it around, move it all the way to the back. And essentially, we just want to paste it on there. There we go. Bosh. Nice. Go ahead and merge those together. Nice, and I'm just going to continue making this longer, and then that's where the propeller is going to go. We might have more than one propeller as well. We'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. Okie dokie, so essentially, after continuing this backwards, we've now got this sort of section, which is looking pretty neat. I think I'm going to do one more. We're going to go backwards one more, then we're going to sort of fasten it up, essentially just blocking off the back end, and then we're going to put the... um. We're going to put the propeller on. We're not probably not going to do that today, but um, we will put the propeller on uh, eventually. Anyway, go ahead and slam this in right here. Okay, like that. There we go. One, two, and three. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Let's go backwards one more anyway. And then uh, we'll sort it out from there. Okie dokie. So there we go. Yes. That's actually looking pretty nice. Um, obviously, this section needs to just be filled in like this. Uh, and essentially, it's just going to be a big box on the back. Uh, we will work on making this look a little bit more snazzy once we start putting the propulsion in, etc, etc. But for right now, we'll leave it just like that. Because this is going to be a tanker, I'm kind of thinking about taking features from a real-life tanker and actually whacking on like a big bridge on the back of this thing and having it look a little bit like an actual tanker. We'll have some sort of section right here where it comes up, a little bit like a, like a U-boat kind of thing. Um, and essentially, it should end up looking pretty, pretty neat. 
Um, but for right now, I think I might actually just end this here. We've built the main hull. We've actually got the fuel tank uh, installed as well. And um, yeah, we will need a fuel tank for the engines too. This is just our cargo tank. Uh, but essentially, this is pretty good. What you got so far, I like. And uh, hopefully you guys like it too. I'm going to delete these things. Actually, I'm going to leave that one there. Uh, we're going to delete that up to there. And we're going to delete this down to here. Um, but we're going to leave the rest of it here so that we know what we're doing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you guys want to uh, continue watching this, please uh, feel like subscribing. <laughs> please feel like subscribing. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to words. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, also, if you guys actually want to participate in the challenge, um, a link to my Discord will be down below. And you guys can go down to the build challenge uh, submission section and the discussion section as well. And you guys can see what everybody else is doing. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.